County in southwest New Mexico. Most of it looks like this, barren, dry, open space. But that could soon change because this man, Bob Brumley, wants to build a new city here. There hasn't been a city built from scratch since the Manhattan Project up in Los Alamos. This is what Brumley has in mind, a typical American city with a downtown, highways, suburbs, public transportation, and parks right off of Interstate 10 between Deming and Las Cruces. But here's where it gets strange. Even though 35,000 people could live here, no one ever will. That's why they call it a ghost town. But why build a $600 million ghost town? Well, because like the Manhattan Project, Brumley hopes his city paves the way for new technology. He's named it SITE, short for Center for Innovation, Testing, and Evaluation. Basically, the whole city is a lab where companies can test their gadgets and gizmos without putting people in danger. So if you have driverless cars, for example, uh, or if you have drones dropping packages, you don't want to have it land on someone's head. Right now, Brumley says there's nothing like sight anywhere in the world. While some New Mexicans seem skeptical about this bold idea, it's very crazy. Others desperately want to make it a reality. Luna County Manager Charles Tink Jackson says not only could this city be a game changer for the technology sector, this whole thing right out in front of the helicopter right now is where, it's, where it would be. But also his county. Since the silver spike in the railroad, this would probably be the next biggest thing that's ever happened for this county. Because a testing facility of this size would mean jobs, thousands of them, either to build, run, or maintain the city. Jackson says Luna County is one of the poorest counties in the nation with a double digit unemployment rate. Is it hard to find a job here? Yes, it is. It's not a lot of um, options to choose from. Where do I apply? Is what I would like to know. <laughs> but the better question might be when. Brumley's goal is to break ground before the end of this year. And if all goes as planned, this city could be open for business in three and a half years. He says it'll all depend on required licenses and, of course, money. But if he does pull it off, this ghost city could bring Luna County to life. Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News.